Most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I can't. Hey, what's going on guys? Quack Lemon here, and um, for this video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make Blender intros on the Mac, and I'll do, be doing some explanations for the Microsoft as well. But um, yeah, so first what you want to do is you're going to head over to Chrome, you're going to head over to www.blender.org, or just the Blender website, links down in the description below. But then when you're um, on the Blender homepage, um, you want to go down to Blender 2.77a, click on that. And then what you want to do is you want to either, for what um, what software or what type of computer you use, so if you use Microsoft, you select this one. If you use um, Mac, you'll select one of these. But um, yeah, what you want... Well, what you actually want to do is you want to don't don't really select any of these unless I don't actually know what that is for, but I don't know. Sorry, but what I what I would just do is I, if you're in Microsoft, just um click either 64 bit or 32 bit, which whichever you want you want. But I click the 64 bit on the Mac because I'm using um a MacBook. But so then once you've downloaded that, you'll be presented with a folder on your desktop like this, and then so you just open that one up. And then so you'd be presented with something like this that so has the Blender, Blender Player, and a bunch of other just licenses and stuff. So what you want to do is you can go ahead and open up Blender. Let me close that one down. Then you'll be presented with this page. All right. So then we just so we're just going to exit out of that again. So once you've done that, once you've downloaded Blender and everything, um, I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to re-download it. But yes, yeah, so we're just going to exit out of that. But then we're moving on to getting your um, your uh, uh, Blender intro templates. Here, are these guys top free templates. These guys are um, pretty popular. This this guy has loads and loads of um, templates and stuff. So I recommend going for this guy. Or either um, there's another guy called Spa. Actually, hang on. Um, so I got I've these two guys. Um, uh, I forgot how to spell his name. I think it's Spa FX. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's Spa FX. Um, yeah. Um, this guy he's got some pretty nice. Uh... All right, so that uh, this guy as well. But um, so I'm just gonna stick with this one because this is this is my intro here. So I'm gonna turn the volume up, and so you can be guys here. So that's just um okay. So that's just um so once you've done that, you just want to head over to either the actually um also another thing to talk about if you're on one of the um so also um this is just the um just a um this is just this my intro he was just doing a tutorial on this one or just whatever just but um uh so what you want to do is you want to it also if you're watching. One of um one one of the top one hundred um actually I'll talk, I'll get into that later but then what you want to do is you want to go over to the download link and then so once you, it'll be bring you to this page and once if you want to download it download the the intro you can either follow them on YouTube or go follow them on um Twitter but once you've actually done that so. I'm just going to subscribe to him. I was already subscribed to him, but I was just doing a tutorial. And so it's just checking. So they come down. So he's going to wait. All right. So I'll just cut this to when the page loads and back in a bit. Okay, so now when that's done loading, it, it only takes up for about like half half a minute. So, but once it's done loading, it'll you'll be presented with this page. These guys are called Mega. Um, I'm already familiar with these guys because I've I've used their I've used their thing to download different things. But they're really good guy. Uh, they're really good. It's a really good software. But um, yeah. So um, 
what you can actually do is um, if you're if you're familiar with Mega and you have the Mega the Mega Sync, then you can download it with that, or you can just download it through your browser if you're just like just a default or just whatever. But um yeah, and then so once you've downloaded that, so then so when you download it, yeah you so then you download it. I'm not gonna download it again because I've already got it. But then so then you're gonna come up with a um, intro template something like this, or um actually wait no I will actually download it. Um, actually, wrong one. Uh, oh, what did I do there? Oh, okay, I see where I went there. Alright, All right, so I'm just gonna write this and so I'll be back in a bit. Alright, so we're back, and um, so I'm actually just gonna download this one. Um, Alright, so I'm a, gonna be a lot of cuts in this video, but I'm, you know, so I'm just gonna cut to when this is downloaded. Um, so yeah. Uh, actually, no, I'll just. Um, Alright, so that's downloaded, that's just downloaded to my downloads. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to um, exit out of this. Um, just going to get rid of that one. Alright, and so, and then what you want to do is you want to grab it from your downloads and yeah, we'll just grab this one. So we'll just leave that just here, um, and then so you'll have the zip. Um, the zip. You want to open that. You want to open that up, and then it's gonna give you a. It's gonna give you this file that's gonna say newer ordner. I don't know why it's called that, but so we're gonna just gonna leave that over there. So it's got these two here, and then so you're gonna open this one up, and then this is actual. Yeah, also, um, credit to SparFX, because he's actually the one that, um, he should be getting the full credit, because he's the one that actually made the, my, this, this intro, so, um, props to him, so, um, he actually makes the, but also he's, because he submitted it to top, um, top free templates, so that's where I, but yeah, so he, um, check out SpireFX as well, sorry, um, sorry mate, but, uh, yeah, so check him out as well, he's, he's, um, the one that does quite a few of the, so what we do is we want to grab that out of the folder, and then just, and then we're just gonna put that folder to the side, and then you've got this. Okay, so I've already got it, so I'm just gonna delete. I'm just gonna put that one away, and then so you don't really need this anymore, so you can just put that away, and then you don't need the zip. Okay, I'm just gonna throw that one. Oop, I'm just gonna throw that one away as well. All right, so then you want to go back into Blender. So when you're presented, when you've downloaded Blender and you opened up, you'll be presented with this page. You want to head over to File, and then you're going to Open, and then you're going to go where to where you saved the. Um, but if you're just putting it on your desktop, so mine will be on my desktop. So I'm already done desktop, and here here it is. And so I've opened it up, and so this is what you're going to be presented with. Um, not exactly because you're going to have a different intro, but um, yeah. So then. You just, this is just what it's gonna be like. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I can't. 
Alright. So that's done. But what actually happened? Um, okay, so this is. Um, okay, so yeah, I forgot to show you because this is actually my intro. This is the one that I'm doing. Um, Alright, so this is mine. Alright, okay, so that's my intro, and so this is the one that I that I use for mine. But um, so yeah, so we're just gonna go back into this, and then so what you wanna do is you wanna oops, shit, oh, I did a bad. Okay, so you don't wanna do that. Uh oh. Uh oh, what I do? Oh, um. Okay, so what you okay? I'm just gonna be back when I get this sorted out. Um. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so we're back, and so I did a bad, so, but, um, when you wanna, so what you wanna do is you wanna find a, I don't know if you can, can you, I'm just trying to, oh yeah, so what you can do is you can use the arrow keys to find a good angle. What you want to do, okay, so that's that's an angle I'm going to choose. But what you want to do is, because there's two two layers, um, so what you want to do is you want to right-click on one of them, and you're going to go Tab, and you're going to go Delete, and then you're going to type in your, type in your name or text that you want, to, you want to put in. So I'm going to put Quack Lemon, and then I'm going to Tab again, and then I'm going to right-click, and then I'm going to Tab again, I'm going to delete it. Q U A K L E M O N, and so that's done. I'm gonna go tab again, and then when I play it, it's gonna have all my text there. And then so once you've done that, you're done, and well, not completely done, but then then comes the rendering. So, but first, but first, if you actually want to change your font, um. With MacBooks, I don't know if they do have um, preset like a but with Microsoft, I most certainly know that they have preset fonts and stuff. But what if you want to change your font? You go over to here, you press this little folder, and I don't know where. And so then you go um with, with Microsoft, they're usually in the C hard drive, and then under fonts. So that's for Microsoft, but unfortunately with um. With Mac, I'm not too sure where it would be. So, if um, any of you own a Mac, um, I'm probably just gonna search up on Google. But well, yeah. So then you change the font, you use the font, put, and then so you go open font. But I'm not gonna because I don't have a font. But then, so once you've done that, um, then you wanna head over to this little camera, and then you'll be presented with this. So, uh, right, so I'm just gonna do this a bit, just so you can have, alright. Then what you want to do is you want to head on down to the little part where it says H.264 under um, dimensions. And then you want to click that and you want to pr press MPEG. Click MPEG and then you want to head on down to the Dropbox that says encoding. You want to head down you want to say format and you want that to be MPEG4. And then you want to head on down to where audio codec and make sure it's MP3. And and so that's when you're done rendering that's gonna help um, and so then you want to head over to render or you click over here you go render and then go render render animation or you click just the animation button here and that'll start rendering I'm not gonna render it now because I've already done it done it and but um, when you want to if you want to uh, for my it um sorry when it depends for because it Damn it! I'm not gonna render it because um, it just takes it'll take too long because my computer I'm just using my MacBook and everything. So, and um, it will depend on how 
um, so if I actually do this, because my this intro has 350 frames, so that will probably take me about maybe three hours. So I'm not going to do it right now because that's just wasting time. But um, yeah, so once you've done that, but um, if you have a, like a really strong computer and a really fast computer, it'll take you up to around maybe half an hour to an hour, something like that. I don't know, but um, yeah, it'd be something like that. So, um, cause, but it depends on how many frames you've got. And so, and then that's, uh, and then once you've done that and it's rendered, okay, and then we're done. So you've done it, you've rendered it, and it, um, ch shows up on your, um, on your desktop or your documents or whatever. But then when you actually go into it, this is where the Blender problem, um, I've happened, this is what happened to me. Um, when I actually did my intro, I rendered it, I did everything, um, I used a tutorial, but, um, so, uh, this is, um, it happened to me, I followed everything the guy said to do, but the audio just didn't go with it, it just had the visual, so, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be showing you how to, if this does happen to you, show you how to fix that. Okay, and so yeah, we're just gonna go right into it. Okay, so you've got when you once you render it, re render it. Um, I can't speak English at the moment. Um, then you're just gonna show up on your desktop. Um, you can you can play it and everything, but it just won't have the um. This one I this is this is my uh, um final. But um, once you've rendered it, rendered it and stuff. So then what you want to do is once you've rendered it and you got the um, intro you want to head back over to um, Chrome and you want to find the um, you want to find the uh, so once um, when you know how we said back when we were doing how to make it you went to the link what you want to do is you want to go here and I think if you if this is the template review, so if you click on, um, I'm gonna just quickly wait till this loads, and then all right. So, but what? Actually, no, not that one. But what you want to do is. Just the original, original one where it just has your intro. What you want to do is you want to grab that link, copy, and you want to head over to YouTube to MP3. Here we go. And then you want to put your link in there. I think you guys would be familiar with YouTube to MP3 or MP4. It converts the video to download it and stuff so you can have it on your computer. But then what you do is you get, then you convert it. Oh wow. It actually worked. Um, I'm surprised that actually worked because usually my computer doesn't actually. Um, but anyway, what you want to do is you're going to click download and it's going to download the MP3. Okay, so I'm not going to do that right now because it's just going to waste um, internet. But then, so once you've got it, so I've got the I've got the, the MP3 here, and so then you've got the. So you would have the MP3 and your video where it doesn't have audio. Then if you're using MacBook, I suggest heading over to iMovie. And so then what you want to do is you want to grab that video that has no audio. And so we're going to go right here. Just ignore this, putting my volume down. So what happens when I put it in, just put the, when I just had the video without the audio, this is what happened. Didn't have any audio. I just put down the volume just to give you an example, but yeah, so this is what it looked like. I had no audio, but then what I did is I grabbed the MP3, I bring it in, and then I pop it in there. You put the volume up on that, click it back, and then this is your finale. Alright, so then that's done and then what you want to do is you want to click on click on one of the things if you're using iMovie you want to go over to file uh, and go up here and you want to click file once that's done you got all, all here you got this um, or just name it whatever you want my 
intro, I'm just going to name it my intro 2. And then what it's going to do is you're going to go next. And then you're going to save as whatever to where. Um, but I'm not going to do that because right now. And then, and then so once you've done that, uh, I'm going to just delete these. Um, oh, no. Delete. All right, there we go. So I'm just going to exit out of that. And then, so once you've done and the files conferred, um, transferred to your desktop or whatever, for Mac, it's going to um, show up on your desktop and it's going to have the audio. So that's that. But um, for Microsoft, I recommend using uh, Microsoft Editor, I believe, is either the best one. I have a desktop Microsoft 7. I have Windows 7 on my desktop, but the thing is it's not connected to internet, so... But, um, yeah, and, um... Yeah, so, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you, um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope it, um, helped you, and it's gonna help you, uh, to make your own intros and stuff, because this is how I made mine, and, um, and how to fix the problem with the Blender having no audio, and so, um, yes, that's, uh today's video so i hope you enjoyed hit the like button subscribe all that stuff see you in the next one peace